Now tonight, the dancers are competing for the professional Latin championship. And as this is an open championship, we're about to see some of the finest Latin American dancers in the world because our competitors are here from the United Kingdom, from Europe, America, Australia, and Japan. Now they've been dancing all day in front of a panel of 11 international judges who've had the very difficult task of selecting just 12 couples for the semi-finals, which is where you join us now. But uh, before the dancing actually begins, let's meet Charles Nove, who's ready with all the background details on the competitors. And of course, to play the music, we have the orchestra and chorus under the direction of Ross Mitchell. So we start with the compulsory dances, which include the cha-cha, the samba, the rumba, the paso doble, and jive as we begin the semi-final of the professional Latin competition. There's couple number 37 in tonight's competition from California, Rick Valenzuela and Melissa Dexter, 1987 professional U.S. Grand Champions. One from West Germany, former World Amateur Latin Champions, Horst and Andrea Beer. Couple number eight from Norway, Geir Bakker and Catherine Anderson. A partnership of only six months, though Geir won all the major titles with his previous partner. And number six from West Germany, the German Latin Champions, Ralph Le Penny and Lydia Weiser. Marcus and Karen Hilton, former world and European 10 dance champions. That means champions over the five compulsory modern dances and the five Latin dances. Finalists in all the major events, international and British. Couple number 25, Mark Parkin and Carol McRail from Sanderstead in Surrey. Our 
some fabulous dancing there from our 12 semi-finalist couples. Now, from those 12, the panel of judges have chosen six to go through to the final, which begins with virtuoso performances from each couple in the free dance section. Good choreography and entertainment value, remember, score very highly in this section. So uh, let's not keep you or the competitors waiting any longer, because I've been given the first of the final six. So let's start with couple number 25 there, Mark Parkin and Carol McRae from Sanderstead. <laughs> Mark Harkin and Carol McRaeld were finalists over 10 dances in the 1986 World Championships. They've been in all the major finals since then, and they're in the top six of Britain's Latin dancers. from Norway, Johan and Nadia Eftedal. Norway is home to Johan and Nadia Eftedal, though Nadia actually comes from California, USA. They're former Norwegian champions, finalists in all the major competitions, and they're planning a move soon to live and work in London. Three professional Latin couples, David Sycamore and Denise Weavers, who must be possible contenders for the championship currently held by Donnie Burns and Gaynor Fairweather. David and Denise have been partners for 17 years since they were juniors. They're five times world and European ten dance champions.
flying the Danish flag, Colin and Lena James, though Colin's an Englishman, Lena is the Dane. They teach both here and in Denmark. They came fourth in last year's Open British Championship and fourth in the last World Championships, held in Miami in September. Number 34 from Scotland, Donny Burns and Gaina Fairweather. The current champions, in fact, four times undefeated World, British, European and United Kingdom champions, Donny Burns and Gaina Fairweather. They've been partners 11 years, professionals for six years. Can they take the UK title a fifth time? We'll find out tonight. from Manchester, Sammy Stopford and Barbara McCall. Strong contenders for the championship, Sammy Stopford and Barbara McCall. Sammy was UK champion in 1984 with his previous partner. Since then, he's teamed up with Barbara, who is in fact one of his former pupils. They are international and USA champions. With the judges placing great importance on originality and entertainment value, the world champions Donny Burns and Gaynor Fairweather pushed into third place. The winners of this round, Sammy Stopford and Barbara McCall, with that thrilling Phantom of the Opera routine, a choice that delighted judges and audience. But now for the remaining section of this professional Latin final, and again, the compulsory dances, and indeed this is of course a final chance for the competitors to impress those all-important judges, as we start with the cha-cha. As we go into the final compulsory dances, let me introduce someone who's well qualified to give us an expert opinion on each performance. Top dance coach and adjudicator, Margaret Redmond. Margaret, we're seeing here the top six Latin dancers in the world. It must be a horrendous job trying to judge them. How do the judges go about it? 
Well, they certainly need a quick eye. They'll be looking for a rhythmically controlled performance with well-rehearsed stylish choreography and good technique. They'll also be assessing their true characterization of each dance and for their overall artistic performance. Margaret, how do you rate the performance of couple 25, Mark Parkin and Carol McCrail? Mark and Carol are dancing confidently tonight. Samba showing good changes of rhythm. Mark, a, a very powerful dancer, but tonight looking a little heavy in the shoulder area. His back seems to lack that continuation of movement and he looks a little stiff. Number 29, Colin and Lenny James. Really personality plus this evening, this couple, full of natural exuberance. Colin's an exceptionally rhythmic dancer and the choreography is showing this to advantage. There's a togetherness with matched body positions. Lenny perhaps a little unbalanced there and showing and tidy foot positions. And the judges have awarded sixth place for that dance to number 25, Mark Parkin and Carol McRae. And fourth place in the samba goes to number 29, the Danish professional champions, Colin and Lenny James. And on to the rumba. The first couple we see are the reigning champions, Donny Burns and Gaynor Fairweather, who were marked down to third place for their solo dance. Margaret, what are the qualities that have made Donny and Gaynor world champions four times in a row? Well, I think they're both very charismatic dancers with superb artistry, always producing the powerful performance when it counts. They have that sense of drama which you can see in their facial expressions when dancing this very sultry rumba. They really live their dancing tonight with, with a total awareness of each other.
And here's the couple that gained first place in that solo round, Sammy Stockford and Barbara McCall. They must be hot contenders. Yes, I believe they are. They're dancing another beautifully choreographed rumba, but showing a, a contrasting style to that of Donnie and Gaynor's. A more simplistic approach, which shows Barbara's excellent leg and ankle control. Sammy always a good foil for this elegant girl. the judges' view, Donnie and Gaynor get second place for their rumba. Sammy Stopford and Barbara McCall have won this dance, their first win over Donnie and Gaynor tonight in an individual dance. On to the Paso Doble, and here are couple number 32, Johan and Nadia Efterdal. John in a very masculine role tonight, whoop! And perhaps he could do with a little side stretch in that, those leaps. Now, dancing an excellent chasse cape action, true characteristic of the Paso Doble. Nadia always uses her hands and wrists beautifully in this dance, they almost talk. And now John, knee spin, final finishing line. David Sycamore and Denise Weavers, who gave us a dramatic performance earlier in the cha-cha. And this certainly is a dramatic performance as well. True interpretation of Paso Doble, showing excellent speed of turn. David depicting the role of the matador, and Denise, a very good cape. Choreography always readable, a good storyline. And here's David, with the cape over his shoulder, all well characterised. Johan and Nadia Efterdal go into fifth place. While that stylish performance from David Sycamore and Denise Weavers gets them second place for this dance. And finally we move to the jive, brought to this country by American GIs around the Second World War. Let's take another look at some of the hottest contenders tonight.
absolutely spectacular dancing there from our finalists and uh, in just a few moments we shall know the results of the professional latin championships for 1988 but uh, before i give you the judge's decision do let me introduce you to the gentleman who's going to be presenting the awards to the dancers this evening so would you please welcome the managing director of our sponsors this evening from super dance shoes mr barry free And now to the all-important results. Well, the marks have been added up and the judges have awarded third place to couple number three, David Sycamore and Denise Weavers from London. And in second place, from Manchester, couple number 16, Sammy Stopford and Barbara McCall. The United Kingdom professional Latin champions of 1988 are couple number 34 from Scotland, Donnie Burns and Gaynor Fairweather. They've done it again, fifth time United Kingdom champions Donnie Burns and Gaynor Fairweather. And they'll go on to represent Scotland in this year's World Championships in Germany. So our congratulations to the new champions and indeed to all of the competitors who've given us so much pleasure this evening with that marvellous display of dancing. Well, I do hope that you've enjoyed being with us for these championships and so on behalf of everyone here at the Bournemouth International Centre, we wish you good night and leave you with another stunning performance from the United Kingdom professional Latin champions of 1988, Donny Burns and Gaynor Fairweather from Scotland. Good night.